want to talk about the long, our recent clinical study, long-term clinical results on our dermal fillers on safety and effectiveness. So we are a company in Germany and our brand name is Amalian. And if you walk the red carpet, you immediately had the root of our company. SNV technology has been, has been founded is by Dr. Christine Kreiner. It's located near Berlin with an additional production site close to Hamburg. Dr. Kreiner is an expert of hyaluronic acid for more than 30 years. And we have two business units. One is aesthetic dermatology, where we develop and manufacture dermal fillers, skin care, uh, skin care line, eyelashes, and hair boosters. The second business unit is biomaterials, where we develop and manufacture biomaterials for medical applications. Hyaluronic acid is a very unique structural, rheological, physiological um, molecule. It has exceptional water binding capacity, what makes it an ideal material for dermatology. Hyaluronic acid is found in every species, so it's ubiquitous. That means when you produce hyaluronic acid in bacteria, it's the very same molecule that is present in humans. So you have no problems with biocompatibility. This is our portfolio. So these are our dermal fillers. We have more or less three lines. This is biphasic hyaluronic acid gels, so-called expert line. These are hot particles, and these are long-term dermal fillers. They stay for more than one and a half years. The other line is linear hyaluronic acid used for mesotherapy. This is a short-term rejuvenation, and the product is called Amalian Balance. And we have the monophasic cross-linked hyaluronic acid gels. These are made with softer particles. We have LT and SF fillers. I'll come to that later. These dermal fillers will stay for about six to nine months. If you use this gel and put them with some preparations under the microscope, you can see how this looks. So the first one, um, can I have a pointer? No, I'll have that. Um, so the upper photo, this is the expert line. These are really hard particles, dry particles, surrounded by linear hyaluronic acid. They take off water after injection. So you need less injection volume for more effect. This is important. This is, this is very nice to have with few mil mic milliliters, you have a very nice effect. The second line is the LT line. This is a monophasic product, cross-linked but not highly cross-linked, low cross-links. And it, takes, it still take, takes up a little bit water. You can see this, the softer particles here. And if you compare these particles with our recent soft filler line, SF line, um, you can see the difference. This, these particles are fully hydrated. Um, there is no water uptake anymore because they're completely saturated with phosphate buffer. This is to show you the difference between our three lines. We have the expert lines. This is a highly cross-linked particle surrounded by linear hyaluronic acid. We have the LT line. This is low cross-linked particles. And we have the SF filler line. So these particles, let's say the LTL particles, are fully hydrated low cross link particles. Now to the clinical study we did with our recent line. Um, all in all, we did a lot of clinical studies with the Amalian fillers. Up to uh, almost 1,000 people have been um, treated during clinical studies. And so our recent study is SF fillers. So we, you see these are the four products in this line. 
from 14 milligram hyaluronic acid per ml to up to 24. We have um, investigated the safety and effectiveness in nine clinical sites in Germany. 158 patients have been treated. We have results for 140 patients after two to three weeks, 140 patients after three months, 132 patients after six months, and 113 patients after 12 months. So the, the study is still ongoing. Um, the goal was to inject one ml of product per patient or per indication. So if you have nasolabial and marionette lines, of course, you can use this two times one ml. We investigated the safety for 12 months and the effectiveness for six months. So six months is comparable with the longevity of Botox. So this is, I think, a nice, a nice time for a doctor to see the patient again. These are the treated areas. So you see that it's more or less it's the face area plus um, plus the, some neck lines. And it's more or less nasolabial folds, it's marionette lines, it's perioral lines. So it's the classical, the classical treatment areas in the face. And this is the results we got. You see, this is a patient on the left side um, with pretty deep um, nasolabial folds. Also, marionette lines are easily seeable. So we injected 1.5 ml of the product on each side. And the photo in the middle is two weeks after the treatment. And you see the very nice effect. And you don't e e only see this effect after two weeks, after six months, you also see a very nice effect. So it's an excellent lifting effect of the, with this product and a nice longevity. Same product is also again for nasolabial folds. Here I show you before and after. You see the effect of the lifting. And then you see immediately after and after two weeks. Many fillers have a gelling effect, a swelling effect. That means that the product still is able to take up water. So the, the, the product will swell after injection. And we try to prevent that by fully hydrating the particles. And here you see that the patient looks the same after, immediately after treatment and after two weeks. That means for the doctor, the patient goes in the office, he or she gets treated, and it's exactly the result that she sees after the treatment that will stay. So there is no overdosing, no underdosing necessary. It's just exactly this, this result what, you, what the patient will see will stay. So it make, this all makes it easy and safe in application. And this is uh, a picture to show you the effect and the longevity. So our goal was at, me, at least an 1.0 um, improvement of wrinkle scale after six months, and we kind of hit this goal. <laughs> so even after 12 months, you see an effect. The next product in that line is SF20, so 20 milligram hyaluronic acid. This patient has also got also a treatment of nasolabial folds. You see immediately after and after two weeks. And that's the same effect I just, I just showed you for SF24. It's an easy and safe application. With SF20, it's a lighter application as the one with SF24 because it's, an, it's a lighter product. And also no swelling and no, no change. Um, the lightest product in this line is SF14. It's um, called Natural Lips because it's a very nice product to be used on the lips. You can lose it in, use it in the vermilion border because it's light enough to, to give a nice shape. 
but you also can use it for light augmentation. So it's for all, all areas on the, in the lips. And it gives an improvement of the appearance with a, with a low risk of overdosing. And that's exactly, I think, what patients like. They want to have a natural look. And that's the product to apply. Yeah, well, I said we want to have an injection of one ml per patient. We had 158 patients. We had nine sites. We recommended one ml and maximum four ml. That was the goal. One site, at one site, we had two patients which were treated with SF14 and SF20. These people, these patients received multiple treatments, multiple, multiple treatments in one session and much more than recommended. So especially with these two patients, we monitored the safety and effectiveness pretty close um, due to this higher dosage use. An injection volume was 8 milliliter per, per face or 10 milliliter per face in one session. And that's what the doctor did. So you see it's uh, injected in the periorbital frame, in the nasolabial folds, in the lips, um, in, the, in the chin, and in the cheeks. So this patient really got a lot of product and one hematoma. That was it. So this shows you that the treatment, even with an overdosage amount with this very soft fillers, did not lead to any real side effect. And about side effects, um, these are the side effects that we uh, monitored during the study. And we just got uh, feedback of side effects after the, in the first, not in the second visit, after two to three weeks, and none after three months, none after six months, none up to 12 months. And if, when, when we have a closer look on this two to three weeks period, you can see that most of the, of the, of the effects have been um, duration for two to three days, some for seven and very few for more than seven days, these were hematoma. This is just the time they need to disappear. And um, when we look with what kind of, of, of effects we've seen, these were swelling in combination with redness and hematoma. This is always, it's, it's, it's what happens. Every doctor can, say, can have an hematoma, this is, this is no big deal. We did not have any, any severe swelling, and um, we had one, her one case of herpes and one case of itching, so this was it. This is the overview of the products again. So expert line, LT line balance as a mesotherapy, and then our recent SF fillers, and I thank you for your attention. Thank you.